talk about this Star Wars stuff. Okay. Okay, because this is a part of our headline. There was a earnings call yesterday with Bob Iger, and he was, you know, what he does is he he tells everybody <laughs> what's going on, and there was like a little tiny aside, as it were, mm-hmm. that he said after Rise of Skywalker. We are going to go on hiatus for the movies, but don't worry. We're going to have a lot of you know TV to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're. you're I, <laughs> I just think it's funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, how dare you? First of all, I, I, I love my movies, but I understand what's coming. So, if you read between the lines here, uh, and I'll put this to the table here. That means that the Benioff and Weiss situation has probably caused the ripple to that 2022 release that they had Mm -hmm. targeted Mm -hmm. for the Benioff and Weiss, no longer there. So we're on this kind of floating in space like Leia before she realized she had the force, right? So we were like, what are we going to do? Mary Poppins Yeah, Leia Poppins. How are we going to wake up and get ourselves back on the mothership to put – the movies into the theater. Do you like that? that? I yeah, do love that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I like that. Freaking Last Jedi reference all <laughs> up in here. Um, so I, I, it makes a lot of sense if it's on hiatus. So mm-hmm. I wonder how long that hiatus is gonna be. Do you think we we'll, we will get a movie in the 2022 release window, or are we looking at a, at a movie, a Star Wars movie not coming to theaters for at least five years? I mean, they, they're clearly, they're, they're probably focusing on the fact that Mandalorian's about to come out, right? right. And that, I think that's, that show's going to be really good. Yeah. I think that's going to be probably one of the best new Star Wars yeah. things we've seen since the prequels. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, and also, they're making, they're going to be making money off the theme parks. They're making, they're going to be making money off of merch, right? Yeah. There's going to be Disney a bunch Plus of stuff that they, and... they, they, maybe they don't need movies right now. Maybe they, they want to focus on the other Star Wars series that, that, that they have in mind. Right. Mm-hmm. They could be. Uh, Obi-Wan, uh, there's a report out there. The Obi-Wan series is going to begin filming in July of 2020 next year. Right. So we're going to look forward to that. That can sounds like conceivably is the next series after The Mandalorian, yeah. which give me that, all of that. Put it in my face right now. I love that. Then yeah, we have Cassie Nander. Yeah, well, there it is. Then we have Cassie Nander. Mm-hmm. So those are the three that we can look forward to Disney+. Plus Movies? Ryan well, Johnson, there's a, a rumor now that uh, he, his trilogy of movies isn't going to happen. Yeah, uh, which I, I think I, it's. I think I, that's probably true. I've yep. been predicting that for a year. Yeah, that I think the Ryan Johnson thing was never going to happen. Uh, and oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and thank, all you, the, uh, thank you, Cody. Thank you. My favorite changes, uh, Stand in my light. All the changes, <laughs> though. Um, I think this is a a smart decision at this point because. If you're wrapping up nine movies, right, this this whole Skywalker storyline, but you want people to take a breath. And I think Mandalorian allows them to take a breath. Kenobi can allow them to take a breath. There's Mm -hmm. animated series that are coming out as well. There's more going on with Star Wars. Wars. It's going to stay in people's minds. And also, remember what people have been saying, though? I like the idea of waiting. for Where where was the time where I could wait a year or two or five years for the next Star Wars movies? I want that. So that's going to come like back into play. It's just like a rainfall of like or a waterfall right. of like in your face another Star Wars movie. I don't care that you're not done with this one. You're yeah. just right. shoving it in our faces. Right. And which it you know, it's it's kind of dumb of us nerds to complain because you know we as kids, this is probably our dream to have all of these Star Wars and superhero movies right, come up. Right. But it is, it is, it does get a little tiring. It does, yeah. it does. And I think also, and this is kind of what made me, as I was reading the article last night, I was thinking to myself, well, look, Kathleen Kennedy's contract runs out in 2021 right now. The extension runs out in 2021. Feige, they've already said he's going to produce a film. A film. A film, yeah. a Star Wars film. Mm-hmm. They handed him this big Marvel job recently, the CCO. So I think this is all kind of in motion here behind the scenes yeah. for uh, either Kennedy to have a graceful exit mm-hmm. and for Feige to slide into that situation. Because having this time now. Slide into her DMs. Yeah, yeah sure. It's, <laughs> having this imagine? time now, you know, to not to not have to worry about these Star Wars movies. He has time to understand how this Star Wars thing works on this side of the fence. Of course, he's got some knowledge having been a Marvel under the umbrella of Disney. But. Now this is time to really sit down and kind of look at how this whole thing is constructed and maybe come up with a game plan where Feige kind of slides into the position that Kathleen Kennedy was in and she moves on to something else. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm saying well, it's possible. I, I don't think he has time. He just became this, like, mm-hmm. the, 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 what, the grand wizard, grand, this grand, like, poobah. grand yeah. poobah of, like, all of Marvel. Mm-hmm. So I think that he is probably going to be um, doing that. But I think he'll do his, his movie. Yeah, You don't think he'll slide in? To take over Kathleen yeah. Kennedy, not with his jobs at Marvel. Okay. At least not for a while. Not for a while, at least, maybe. Yeah. I'm looking at Dave Filoni. You think that, Filoni would slide in? That makes okay. more sense if maybe, unless maybe he becomes like 
the TV person, right? And and Kathleen that becomes a and Kathleen becomes a movie person still like later mm-hmm. when we come back when we come back from this hiatus. Okay. So, but it makes sense to me. I mean, we we've had so many Star Wars movies in yeah. how in mm-hmm. how many years? Yeah. 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 Like a lot. four. Yeah. Four we, years. We've yeah. Had, like, so we're gonna have three three of the the new sequel trilogy: Rogue One. Solo. Solo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a yeah. lot. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope his, uh, I wonder what his movie is. Uh, that's that's the one. Feige's? The Feige's, yeah. yeah. What would you want to see? Luke Skywalker. I want a, I want a Luke Skywalker like a prequel? movie. Prequel to Force Awakens. I want to see everything go down. I want to okay. see Ben Solo fall to the dark side. Mm. And I want to see that effect on Luke. And then when the movie ends, we know how, how it all went down before Force Awakens. A Sebastian Stan Luke doing No, that no, no. Maybe? I think no. you could bring in Mark Hamill. And you, because look at what he did. And it, then you DH? Look, look at his, what he looked like at the end of The Last Jedi. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, when he's on crate. Right. Um, he projected that image of when Ben Solo mm-hmm. fell to the dark side. Uh-huh. That that Luke, right? That's right. what you want to see. I yeah, I, I want to see that movie. I just okay. don't know if Mark would do it again. I don't know if he would either. Uh, he said he doesn't want to maybe do it anymore. He said I'm uh, I'm done after yeah. the Rise mm-hmm. of Skywalker. Mm-hmm. But then again, there's also money mm-hmm. that could maybe change his mind. <laughs> there's money. And a good I mean, script. I would do it. And a good Pay script. me, and I'll be Luke. <laughs> Kevin, Fe- if Kevin Feige was shepherding that kind of idea, yeah, I think it would be really fantastic to see, and I think it would also do a lot for the fandom that maybe didn't like the Luke Skywalker and the Last Jedi to right. see what happens, mm-hmm. and I think it would also show, really show why. He went where he went in yeah. the Last Jedi, and 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 get more character into it. And yeah, because a lot of people were upset that they didn't like what happened to Luke, right? Yeah. right. But I think including I, Hamill. Uh, yeah. Well, he mentioned it, right? But then then he had to like appease the fans, <laughs> right? Because, because he's like, whoa, 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 like, you guys, you guys, calm down. It's just an opinion, right? Uh, but uh, this is not a big fucking deal in the works in the words of Mark. Yeah, uh, exactly. But um, I, I, I mean, it would be interesting to just to see that, right? To see to see the character uh, evolving from you know being a hero mm-hmm. at the end of Return of the Jedi and then going through all this crap with with his nephew and like that is an interesting storyline to see, like how he ended up being you know bitter and and wanting to be left alone. Because that that I didn't hate what happened to Luke. I actually thought right. it was cool. I just wish I had seen more of it, yeah. more of the development of I it. I think that's fair. Because he, it makes sense uh, uh, what happened to his character. Hence my movie. Yeah. Hence the movie I would like to see yeah. because I think it would be interesting. And and personally, I thought when you're talking about Luke Skywalker, my favorite kind of character in all of film. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's mm-hmm. the one that spoke to me when I was little. And Schnepp is talking to us right now. That just went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he Schnepp, disagrees. Yeah, I don't know if he disagrees or if he agrees with me because <laughs> Schnepp, I know. Did the the last Jedi grew on him? Um, I I wow. think it's interesting when you have a hero and they save the universe at the end of one trilogy, and right. then you meet up with them years later, and they're they're falling on hard times. That to me spoke to me so much. It's because it made me feel like, okay, y- like you get y- it, you get it. Mm. Well, it's like thick Thor hero- to me. I when, get it. Right thick when you're Thor heroic, everything, and then you just continue to be heroic for the rest of your life. It made me feel like it's like you can, even though you you do good in the world, have a bad day or have a ba- or, or fall perfect. on hard times. Nobody's perfect. Right. I just identified with it. So I think to go deeper into that idea yeah. through a movie, that's what. I yeah, and that's see. I agree because hmm. you can be a hero, but you're not perfect. Not even Superman's perfect, right? Yeah. Right. And so, because imagine everybody. It, it's interesting to for me to have grown up. Uh, being a huge fan of Batman and kind of hating Superman, being like, oh, this Boy mm. Scout thing, he's all that, you know. And then uh, and then as I've gotten older, I, I, from all the different iterations of these characters, it must be really, it, it would be really crazy to have that much responsibility and that much power, right? Yeah, and, right. And, and always thinking that you have to do the right thing, especially when everybody's depending on you. Like that, mu- that, that gets exhausting, right? Mm, so, yeah. so that's why some heroes become villains in the words of the great Christopher Nolan, Dark Knight. Yeah, right. So, right. so I, yeah, that's, that's just my pick. I don't know if you guys have any, any speculation on what a, fi- uh, yeah, a Feige I, movie could I be. I wouldn't want him to do anything to do with whatever happened before. I'd want sure. him to start something completely new. Yeah, and who's I get that. Who's the guy in the video game, Starkiller? Who's the guy in the video Sam game? Sam Witwer? No, no, the guy in the video game. No, the character. From Battlefront? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in the, uh, the... The Force Unleashed? Yeah, the Force Unleashed. Oh, okay. uh, that guy. 
I would like to see that guy, that character. I'm sorry I can't come up with it right now, but that Star character. Killer. Alex is Star looking Killer, right? Yeah, Star Killer. Yeah, Killer. yeah, Star Killer. Star, that's I'd, right. Thank I'd you. like to see Star Killer. That would be a fun thing for to to see on uh, live action on a uh, screen or if you you know we've we've been clamoring for that Knights of the Old Republic and now with Benioff and Weiss not doing it, that Knights of the Old Republic uh, uh, slot opens that's up. True. Would he do something And Sam Woodward all the way would back? totally do it too. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Yeah, oh, cuz yeah. he's awesome. He's, all, he's amazing. Oh, absolutely. We need to get him on our show. It'll be yeah, we we do, yeah. and it'll be interesting to see what they're doing. I mean, it's like I hate us right now. I think is is smart. Yeah. Let's see how the the Disney Plus streaming series mm-hmm. do, um, and I think they do need to really look at their movies because I think even though I love um, most of the movies in the new era of mm-hmm. Disney, mm-hmm. Uh, aside from Solo. Um, I think that they could use some planning, and I think they could use some time to really take an idea of what mm. they're what they're doing next. Yes. So maybe this no. is a good thing. Yes, I I think it's a good thing. I think I think um, taking a break will make the fandom miss Star Wars yes. more, mm-hmm. uh, and maybe hopefully we'll finally stop fighting. Probably not, but let's hope. What about so, the Mandalorian? Maybe that will pull everybody together. Bring us all together. I, I think that is good. Yeah. Ho- that that is the hope. But-